What is going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of Yami Noob. I think I say that for all of them because they're all pretty special, but today is a good one. We're gonna be looking at all of our motorcycles and doing an exhaust comparison for all of them. Stick around. So the reason we're doing this video today is really out of vanity. You know, we've got Spites VFR here doing the V4 soundtrack. And then we thought about it, we're like, hey, you know what? We've got just about every single exhaust sound in the known universe, except for a couple bits here and there, like Boxer Twins and Cross Plane 4s. But we got pretty much everything. And the big reason why we're doing that is, of course, we got a couple of our giveaway bikes in here. We've got the KTM Duke 390, the XSR 700 and the Street Triple R over here. Those are our giveaway bikes, and if you guys want the chance to win them, click the link down below, go to yaminu.co, or go to the merch page and use the code TRIPLE2020, get yourself two X entries and 10% off. I'm not wearing a merch shirt because they were all dirty and I forgot to do laundry, so that's the game today. So, we are going to be looking at each and every exhaust today. We're gonna to be doing off the bike shots. We're gonna be capturing them in high quality audio using a Tascam recorder. We're then gonna be getting them on the road and doing a bit of a flyby. We're gonna do on the bike stuff and just get as best audio clips as we can of each motorcycle. Then we're gonna get back in the shop and talk about the differences between all of them and which one is our preferred sound. And Spite will try his best not to be biased towards the VFR, but I think it's gonna be hard, huh, Spite? As I expect you to not be biased towards the duck or yeah. the Triumph down there at the end. Yeah, yeah, so let's start off with the babiest of the bunch, the little Duke, and we'll work our way up all the way to the big bad Bosa. All right, guys, starting us off today is the little baby Duke 390. This is a 373cc single cylinder engine, makes 42 horsepower at 9,500 RPM, and it's fitted with a slip-on Leo Vinci system with the baffle removed. Let's see how it sounds. All right, guys, moving on up, we have the XSR 700 right here. It is a 689cc parallel twin with a cross plane 270 degree crank. It makes 75 horsepower at 9,000 RPM. This bike also has a Leo Vinci full system exhaust with the baffle in. And let's hear what it sounds like.
All right guys, moving along here for the two cylinder bikes. This is my personal Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled. This bike features an 803cc V-twin engine, makes about 75 horsepower and red lines close to 9,500 RPM. It's fitted with a full aero system and it's got the baffle put in it and it's quite beat up as you can tell. Let's hear how it sounds. All right guys, moving on up to our three cylinder bikes. This is my personal, another personal bike here, uh, Daytona 675R. This bike is a 675cc three cylinder motorcycle, makes about 128 horsepower at 14,400 RPM, quite the screamer. It features a Competition Works exhaust system that's basically a full system from the header back and there's no baffle in it because race bike. Let's hear how it sounds. Alright guys, moving along, this is our larger displacement three-cylinder bike. This is our giveaway Triumph Street Triple R. This is a 765cc three-cylinder engine. It makes about 116 horsepower at 11,500 RPM, if I remember correctly, but I don't, and I should probably check that. It makes 116 horsepower at 12,000 RPM. It's fitted with a Leo Vinci kind of full system. We've got a mid-pipe and then a slip on here, and we've got the baffle in. Let's hear how it sounds. All right guys, moving on to our four cylinder motorcycles. This is my personal VFR 800 right here. It has a 800 and, nope. Get the energy up. Get the energy, come on. <laughs> it's got a 784 cc V4 engine that makes 104 horsepower at 10,500 RPM. It does have VTEC though, which is pretty cool. It's got an SC Project slip-on exhaust with a little baby catalytic converter under the bike. So we're still pretty loud. Let's hear how it sounds.
Hayabusa. Hayabusa! Rounding us off today is the wonderful, horrible Hayabusa. This is a 1300cc inline four cylinder engine, makes 175 horsepower at 11,000 RPM. It's got a full period correct force system exhaust. I don't even know if force is still around anymore, but look at the length on that muffler. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> needs man is just a little turbo yeah it's not quite but you, you need to get it a little bit more power yeah it kind of like i feel like it lags a little bit you know it's not that quick and it needs a little more power yeah it's like that top end just really isn't there. it's kind of sad honestly all right well, that was a fun day that was a very fun day it was a fun day I, it's not a not a bad day to just rip a bunch of bikes trying to get their exhaust sounds no, I could think of a, a worse way to spend a Tuesday. Yeah. <sighs> so which one was your least favorite, I guess? My least favorite is going to have to go to the Duke, Okay. I think. And it's because it sounds like a thumper, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that it just, it has the, it, it doesn't really have a character to its, its sound so much. Yeah. Um, it sounds very utilitarian. Yeah. It, yeah. it sounds very, like, if you picture a thumper in your head and then you play back our audio, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. It could know? be on a Duke. It could be on a dirt bike. It could be on a DRZ, right? Yeah. It could, you know, it doesn't sound distinct, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas the XSR, very distinct. Yes. I know exactly when I hear a cross-plane P-Twin from Yamaha. It's like that growly, velvety kind of, you know, mm -hmm verbally sound it's really nice it's one of your favorites yeah yeah no i it's the parallel twin is just so good you know it's just that that 270 crank yeah because you know you think of you know just your generic parallel twin awful right yeah I, I will just say it like i don't like small displacement p twins that aren't 270 degree cranks they just sound like lawnmowers yeah no they, they're very every single one is cookie cutter sounds the exact same yeah we can layer in some ninja 400 clips so you can hear from our old bike It's, uh, this is just so much better. Yeah. It has, it has a real esoteric quality that the other ones don't have. Yeah, and it's cool because, you know, uh, you got it in the Triumphs, right? The Bonnevilles have the 270 degree crank. Mm -hmm. I think the Africa Twin has it too. So it's not super unique, but when it's done right, it sounds really cool. Yeah, it gives it a lot of flavor. Yes. Um, then up next, I think, was the, uh, the Daytona, yeah? Mm-hmm. How was that from the outside? <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're in a little valley here uh, yeah. it, it, between buildings. We got buildings on one side of the street and then our building on the other. And you could just hear it bouncing off of both sides of the street. It was yeah. awesome. Uh, Full-on race bike sounds. Yeah. Um, Completely inappropriate for street stuff. Completely inappropriate. <laughs> Even for some racetracks that have DB controls, like I don't know if that bike would pass it. Uh, I think it would, but here in Texas, we don't really care about that stuff that much. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, even the saddle, it's just unbelievably loud. It's great when you're on track because you get to hear everything it's doing and, you know, mid throttle, you pick it up, you hear it, you know, the crackly burbly sounds. But on the street, I would never, I wouldn't want to live with that for more than five minutes. No. You know? Oh like, God, it's no. It's ridiculous. Like I could only imagine trying to commute 
home on that thing. Yeah, yeah. Could <laughs> be commuting on that bike. That'd be hilarious with that seat <laughs> set up the way it is, and the suspension just chewing the head. <laughs> But speaking of which, a bike that we got to be better was the Street Triple, right? The 765, we put the baffle yes. back in, and now I think it sounds really nice. It's right in the perfect spot between loud and obnoxious. Mm -hmm. You know, there there is really a perfect butter zone for every exhaust, and yeah. it, it varies from bike to bike. Like, mm -hmm. we pulled the baffle out of the Duke, and it sounded a million times better. We put the baffle back in to the street triple and again it sounds a million times better way better it's just more controlled more refined it makes more sense for that bike yeah. the sound coming out of it you're like okay that makes sense for the bike that i'm on right now and it also allows you to hear a bit of a whistle coming yeah. through i noticed when i was just standing here watching it fly by it had a whistly character to it yeah those triumph triples always had that little whistle to them and that induction sound you can finally yeah. hear that way more of the exhaust and that's what makes it cool on a bike on that bike specifically for me uh, and then I think one bike that maybe surprised you, which didn't talk about in the two-cylinder bikes, was uh, the Ducati, right? Because I yes. started it up and I gave it some revs and I saw you off camera just going, ooh. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. it's it's excellent. Yeah. I really like a very quality V-twin sound. It's, personally for me, I think it's one of my favorite yeah. motorcycle engine sounds, period. Yeah. Um, it's hard to go wrong with it, you know? The Ducati one's interesting, though, because it doesn't have the, like, timing and potatoy lope yeah. of a Harley one. And I gotta believe it's down to the tuning in the 90 degrees, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's a very, it sounds like a performance engine, Yeah, but it doesn't. It's really not. <laughs> yeah, it do, you don't have to keep it on the boil, but no. it sounds like it. I remember the first time I rode a Scrambler, like I just, you know, the air-cooled V twin just has so much you know, quality to it. And I sound like such a biscotti boy for saying it, but they're, they're nice. You there know, they're there really is nice. something just, palpable about an engine like that yeah you know it's it's the way it feeds back with the frame the way the audio just yeah plays i noticed that helmet. when i revved it up the whole thing kind of moves you know yeah. and i saw it moving towards it was like i love that you know mm -hmm. and i remember i used to run that bike for i think a couple of days without the baffle and weirdly enough you were near where i live and you heard it from like three blocks away right yeah and you saw like a little flash of white and red and then you texted me you're like was that that was the sled, wasn't it? And I was like, yeah, it was. <laughs> so I immediately put the baffle in because it was way too loud. It was so. a solid quarter mile away. It was it was ungodly loud. I remember I was in downtown and people were doing this. I was like, I can't live like this. I'm, I'm a nuisance to society. Uh, so we covered all those three bikes, the, the triples, the parallel twins. Um, up to our four cylinders up now. Up to four cylinder, yeah. VFR. Oh. I mean, guys, V4s, you can't go wrong. Oh my God. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. I think my favorite, I mean, of course, I love when the VTEC's coming on and you can hear that transition, but. It's so distinct. Yes. I was listening to it outside, it goes, whoa, bah. It's awesome. <laughs> yep. It's so cool. Yeah. It's just, there's this one flat second where just everything turns on and the bike just wakes up underneath you. Yeah. But that, you know, that aside, I just love listening to it idle. Yeah. Just the way a V4 idles, it's got this weird kind of like off time mm -hmm. thump to it where it'll it'll like do everything right and then like one cylinder fires just a little bit wrong. Yeah. And then it goes through this big cycle again. It has such a perfect tone to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like um I mean I love the RSV4's engine, the Aprilia V4. That one's just like it's like the VFR, but it's like hopped up to you know 200 horsepower. You know what I mean? It yeah. just sounds so angry. <laughs> it's like the same like race bikes up to Daytona has, but with the V4 that revs to the same ceiling. So it's just unreal, mm -hmm. you know. But you can't go wrong with the V4. They sound so 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 good. And yeah, it's like that low end rumble that it has. It's just so nice, you know. Just yep. like, the, woof, woof, woof. like it's really really sick. Uh, and then the last bike, the big old Busa. That I think honestly is got to be my favorite of them all. Um, really? Yeah. It, again, if we can't pick our own bikes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If we can't pick our own. I think yeah. it's just, I say it every time I talk about it, it just has this otherworldly feel yeah. to it. Um, it doesn't scream. It just, it does, it just, it doesn't even yell. No. It just emits sound, yeah. you know? And it just, that, that same, imagine like the, the tone at idle and then just bump it up like 20 decibels yeah and then another 20 and then it's just like that's what it sounds like when it accelerates what is it like because i've never heard it just going down the street off the bike what, what's it like 
it just it, again it sound it, there's a you can hear a little bit of the induction whistle yeah and then it just it has that low bassy howl to yeah. it yeah it's it, it you can just if you know anything about motorcycles and you hear it fly by you're like holy shit, that's yeah a, that's a you know real bike right there that's a, it's a, it, like that that's the feeling i get with it too when you turn it on like when you're wheeling around like you're like oh my god this bike is so heavy and this and that but then when you just get it moving, it feels like you're just holding a sledgehammer. You know, yeah. like it just, you just feel all of a sudden more powerful and more macho than you did before, you yeah. know? It just has this quality of making you feel like it just accelerates, you know, and it does like a goddamn rocket ship. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I could barely get it out of first gear into second over here and, you know, hit about 100 miles per hour back there. <laughs> just, just doing that, you know uh -huh. what I mean? And I heard you on the comms go, holy shit, you know? <laughs> Because <laughs> you literally, you were like in and out of shot like that. Yeah, it, it just, it all happens so fast. And um, that performance coupled with the sound really just baits up really, really nicely on the Busa. Mm -hmm. And I just, I love the lopey kind of, you know, low idle that it has. I love hearing it start up and it's like, grow, 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 grow. Sounds angry like a muscle car or something, you know? It's got that, that is a very, um, that, that is a very indicative sound of a, 2000 era in line four yes you know that's that's just what they all sounded like yeah and it's it's such a good sound it, you think about like an r6 nowadays it's just got that hopped up high performance super pristine like squeaky clean kind of sound you know? yeah but it also almost feels like it's about to just burst out of its shirt because it's just yeah. like so everything in there is just there's no room for character in a bike that's about performance and that bike I disagree a little bit, but yeah, I think an inline four is I, for sure. They're yeah. so they're so clinical and so they're just oh, it's an inline four. Okay, fine. Yeah. But the Busa, it just doesn't do that. No. You know. It I mean, it doesn't rev that high. Well, I mean, you know, R six red lines are like fifteen grand or something. You know, uh, supposedly sixteen five, but that's because the RPM counters were off. There was a whole big controversy. But Busa only red lines at eleven, mm -hmm. and I've only seen eleven on track. I've never taken it to eleven thousand on the street because it just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that brave or stupid to do that. Uh, and it's very scary to do that in yeah. any gear past first. And first gear is just, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it feels like it shouldn't be legal, but. Um, Literally time compresses when you're on the boost. Honestly, yeah. You twist the throttle and time compresses. Everything moves around you. You don't, yeah, it's so weird. It doesn't feel like accelerating on any other bike. So overall favorite, which one? Whew, okay. So for just pure sound, I got to give it to the parallel twin, the, the cross plane okay. parallel twin in the XSR. It just, it, it sounds so unique. Yeah. You know, it's such a, especially with our full system on there, the, the whole package is pretty much perfect. Yeah. You know, and then again, just for just absolute sheer bananas character, the Busa. Interesting. How about you? Um... It's tough. I mean, I, I honestly, I like them all in different ways, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I think depending on what you're trying to do with them, they'll kind of coax out a love out of you, you know? But yeah. I think just off, off of pure sound, I think I go with your VFR. I mean, I love V4s. I love the way they sound. Mm -hmm. And that one with the VTEC and the small displacement, you know, versus like a 2 ono or something. It just, it just has a lot of feel and character to it. It's really, really nice. Yep. Um, and then I think just for like, you know, pure bananas, and because I'm the fast boy, like my Daytona for sure. Like, yeah. I, I, there is nothing I love more in this world than hearing that six seven five sing to fourteen thousand four hundred RPM. It is, <laughs> my, and then just blipping it up a gear. It's perfect. It's awesome. And I've got the pipe I've always wanted on it. It's the best. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that thing does have a very. Just going down the road, it has a presence. I mean, well, the track, since it's not yeah. going down the road anymore. No. <laughs> but uh, it just, it has a presence just as it goes by. It's like, oh, that's a, that's a race machine right yeah. there. It, it just feels like it has kind of like a pedigree and like a way about it, you know? Yeah. And it just, it's so small too, you know? I love that about it. I was just tiny and, you know, it's just great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for checking out this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed all these exhaust comparisons. I know that many of you are now furiously commenting, being like, there wasn't a Boxer Twin. There wasn't a Parallel Twin without a 270. There wasn't an N-Line 6. 
Guys, <laughs> there's like eight motorcycles out there. We did what we could, okay? <laughs> we did what we could. So if you enjoyed the video, go to yamminoob.co, sign up, get access to our Discord server, join our community, see a bunch of exclusive content and all that stuff. And remember, pick out a merch like the one that Spite's wearing. Use the code TRIPLE2020. Get yourself two X entries and 10% off. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later. I honestly forgot what shirt I was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I did too, and so I was like, yeah, it's one of our shirts. <laughs>